Hey, what's up guys? So we have a quick update on the whole Brendan Shop Bobby Lee situation as uh, they just addressed it on their podcast literally like an hour ago. So let's get into it. So if you follow the Fighter and the Kid podcast or if you don't, you can go ahead and watch it because they address it literally like the first 15 minutes so you can go hear from them directly but i'll summarize here what happened they just dropped their latest episode it was an hour and 30 minutes and brian callen right off the bat the first 20 minutes he talks about the entire situation with bobby lee and kalila and it's pretty goddamn interesting it's a good perspective the entire thing was not addressed brendan shop did not address if he was trying to hit on kalila or if he tried to pick up annie letterman he also didn't uh, clarify the whole lawsuit situation, in my opinion. But let's get into it. Actually, Brian Callen came out and, and, and just admitted straight up that he was the one that was harassing Bobby Lee and uh, that pretty much called him and bullied him. And uh, Brian Callen just came out and was, you know, said, you know what, I'll take all the heat. It was me, nobody else, not Delia, not anybody else. So it, he took the blame. He specified that it was him to call Bobby, try, uh, talk some shit and then essentially bullied him because of what he thought Bobby Lee was uh, doing to, to Brendan Schaub. Now we'll get to that in a second, okay? Brian Callen apologized to Bobby Lee, he accepted the apology but didn't really want to talk to him. So now we go back to the situation where Brendan Schaub and his team, also Brian Callen, they thought that Bobby Lee and his team, the Tiger Belly team, were uh, responsible for the Reddit, the subreddit that is fully dedicated to just trashing Brendan Shop, right? We, we've, we've all known about this subreddit, a lot of shit comes from it. And, and what Brendan Shop mentioned was that they actually go to his, uh, you know, companies that he works with, business partners, etc., cetera, and, and try to harass them as well, which is, as we know, it, it's fucked up. A lot of, you, you know, that's, a, that's very common in the YouTube community where somebody with a large following can just go ahead and use their following to fuck, you know, to get somebody to, to get somebody's uh, sponsors to drop them and stuff like that, which I think in my opinion is not, you know, really the best way to go ahead and uh, to go about some things, especially not if you're trying to do it anonymously through a subreddit and then not directly, because I think that's kind of a pussy move, but we'll get to that. That's what Brian Kellen was mad about. He thought that the subreddit that for the past five years has had been harassing uh, Brendan Shop. he thought that Bobby Lee and his team were, were part of it and he didn't wait for confirmation or anything. Now, something very interesting is that Brendan Schaub actually mentioned that he will be going on Tiger Belly to pretty much clarify the whole thing. It'll be very interesting. Now, Brian Kellen brought up the, the fact that he got the information from a group of uh, experts, tech experts. I don't know what he really meant by that, but essentially he got the information from somebody trustworthy that confirmed that the uh, Tiger Belly team Bobby Lee, whoever, there were emails kind of connecting them to those subreddits. So that's what got Brian Callen heated. So essentially, he thought there was evidence, but right now he's claiming that it's still under, an, an it's still going under investigation. So for now, they believe Kalila and, and, and Bobby Lee, and they are apologizing for what they did. And Brendan Schaub is going to the Tiger Belly podcast to talk about the situation. It'll be very, very interesting because here's the thing. Kalila asked uh, Brendan Schaub, you know, okay, so if you find out that it is coming from us, like, what do you, what do you want us for, to do? And Brendan Schaub said that, you know, to, to just stop, to just stop, and that's all they wanted. And what Brian Callen mentioned was that uh, as soon as they confronted Bobby Lee about the situation with the subreddit, it stopped. I'm, I can't really confirm that, but that's what Brian Callen said, that it stopped, and um, that the account was changed or something like that. I, I would recommend checking it out, go to the subreddit. I really don't navigate those waters, so uh, that's up to you to decide. But that, based on what Brian Callen said, there, were, there was some evidence, some type of evidence that made him believe that Bobby Lee had something to do with it. And then as soon as they confronted Bobby Lee and Kalila, it stopped. If that is true, it might be, it might be getting a little weird here because um, it might not be Bobby Lee, but it might be their team. I don't really see why they would do that. I, I you know, I can't really think of a, of a reason. If you do, please comment below, but I don't, I can't really think of one. So essentially that, that is where they are at now. Again, Brendan Schaub did not talk about the situation with Kalila and Annie Letterman, but here's my opinion about that. It's not really that big of a deal. Okay, a married man tried to pick up, tried to pick up another guy's girlfriend. Okay, that's, 
what, 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 what's so wrong about that? It, does that make Brandon an, an asshole? Yeah, of course, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's not that bad. On a scale for, for on a scale for the things that you can get canceled for, hitting another another guy's girlfriend is, is whatever. Especially now that Bobby Lee came out and straight up just said that he let Kalila fuck another guy for however long they did that for, but it, they pretty much had an open relationship. And so based on that, the point of like, oh, you're a bad friend. I don't really buy that to be honest I, I it doesn't really stick sure it might it might make uh brandon an asshole everybody knows that you know i mean let's, let's be honest but here's the thing i don't really believe that there are a lot of grounds for like cancellation of brandon shop i mean he i mean I'm, I'm a huge i'm not gonna lie i'm a huge fan of the fighter and the kid i love brian callen and naturally uh, i followed brandon shop i've you know i've seen this comedy never seen him live i missed him but uh, when he was here in Phoenix, but I, I would go. I would go to a show. With that being said, same thing goes for Bobby Lee. But looking at their record, both of them have, both of them have pretty sketchy past, and that's why I said on my first video that both of them have horrible internet beef. Also, Brian Kelly. I mean, you know, they all three of them have don't have a clear winner, like a winning record online. Um, they've you know they've been under the attack this whole time. So that's the update for now. They addressed it on their podcast. And if you wanna go see it for yourself, it's on the fighter and the kid. They already uploaded the video version on YouTube. So go ahead and check that out. And um, as of now, I guess just wait for them to go on the target belly. That is gonna be very interesting. Hopefully they call each other out. Some good shit happens. And then um, it can either be squashed and then everything's happy from now on. And then I, I cancel and then I just shut down this channel or um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not gonna do that. Of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still, I still got a lot of other a lot of other things to talk about so uh once again please like subscribe comment below um we try to keep on putting putting videos out once a week not only about obviously brendan shop and bobby lee and brian Callen, but there's a lot of other comics comedy stuff that i could talk about and i would love to talk about so again feel free to like uh, subscribe again leave a comment peace